Hello. Uh, here is a comparison uh, video between two uh, 200 milliwatts uh, video transmitter. Well, the first one is very known. This is a uh, Boscam uh, TX uh, 5823. Uh, this one, I think, is including uh, the uh, voltage regulator. So it can handle up to 5 volts. Okay. So usually uh, you have a blue PCB uh, when you have a voltage uh, regulator. And uh, I will compare to the new one, uh, it's a new brand. Uh, this is the FX758. Okay, so the more is the same size, the same scale. Um, okay, uh, so um, I will measure both and you will see. So the FX758 uh, scale with the uh, metallic scale. Um, Casing two two gram dot two and uh, text uh, two gram dot three, so more or less the same. So uh, well, what I will need, I will test first things uh, the uh, emitted power. So we use my RF uh, power meters. So in order to give a, a range of uh, powers, um, I will use this uh, Pololu voltage regulator, this S seven V eight. So I think I will bench uh, the emitted powers from uh, 3.5 uh, volt up to 5. Okay, so I will see if there is an incidence. I will probably also measure the uh, emitted heat. Okay, and uh, in the second part of the uh, test, I will uh, uh, I will uh, install uh, for both uh, a CMA connector, and I will use the same camera. Uh, this BG uh, chip model of Banggood and the same uh, cover relief antenna and the same voltage regulator so only the voltage the uh, transmitter will be different so I will be able to tell the quality okay and the uh, range of uh, the uh, this uh, vertex okay so let's go to uh, I will uh, first prepare my pololu and uh, make some wiring and prepare all the stuff Okay, I prepared the first VTX, which is the TX5823. Uh, I'm working in the default channel, so no deep switch installed, so I guess it's the uh, 5705. Uh, also installed the Apollo Lu. it's uh, tuned to um, 3.8 um, volts. I will check that and yeah, we measure the, um, the uh, uh, output power so okay I will measure the uh, ten voltage at the input of the um, so I don't know. well in the first glance as you can see I measure uh, 125 milliwatts at uh, 3.8 volts so uh, we can confirm that I'm 3.8 volt Um, exactly 3.64 uh, uh, volts. Okay, so now I will do the same with the uh, other uh, VTX. So I just uh, unplug the LiPo. I will remove carefully the um, TX um, um, uh, 5A23, remove the uh, Voltage regulator like this, okay, and now uh, I will install the uh, the same. So connects the power and so I try to tie it correctly, and I will power on the uh, lipo like this, okay. And I'm measuring a little bit less, 1064. So uh, there is a small variation, maybe uh, the solid job on the antenna can explain, but it's very closed and I don't know exactly which is the default. So at 3.665, uh, uh, I've got uh, more or less 100 milliwatts for the F FX 7058 and 125 or 20 for the um, TX um, 5A23. So now we check at uh, 4.2 uh, 
4 volts. Ok, I tuned the Apollo Lu to exactly 4 volts. I will plug again the uh, uh, TX5823 uh, so I will connect the uh, LiPo and now I uh, now I display uh, 146 uh, uh, milliwatts. Okay, so it's so it's um, better at four volts. Okay, we now do the same with uh, the other one. Okay, and plug. Okay, and screw. Start to be getting hot. Okay, tightening well. Plug the uh, input and now plug the uh, wall. As you can see, it's a little bit better, but not so much more. Uh, not very uh, efficient, so it's still 100 milliwatts. Okay, so now I will try at uh, even decreasing. Seems to be a little bit less power. Well, mm, I think the soldering job is more or less okay in the uh, antenna, so uh, it seems that. Uh, FX is a little bit less powerful in emission. Okay, I will try uh, now at 4.5 uh, volt. Okay, now the uh, Pololu is set to uh, 4.5 volts. I will uh, test first the um, TX523. And I'm reading uh, something like uh, 172 milliwatts, so uh, it's uh, proportional to the vol input voltage. So if you want to uh, tune the output power, so you have some indication. Okay, I will test now with the um, other uh, VTX. Okay, so like this. Um, This one is getting hot and eh, quickly, so okay. The um, five X seven eighty eight. Okay, now plug. Connector and now we power the um, lipo. Oh, much better. It's uh, claimed to close to the same 161. So hmm, this one needs really to be fed close to 5 volt. Okay, so now we make a small last test at 5 volt. Okay, the last uh, test at 5.03 volt. Okay, so First, I will plug and well test with the uh, 5823. So as you can see, it's uh, reaching 200 milliwatts without problem. So it's uh, expecting the the uh, specification. So now I will remove. Okay, and uh, it's getting hot very very fast. Okay, it's summertime here. But uh, and now I will replace with this with the five X seven hundred fifty eight. Okay, power and uh, plug the. Uh, Okay, and I'm reading uh, something like uh, 166. Okay, so hmm, it's not really uh, reaching the uh, 
specification the expectation at 200 milliwatts. So for this one, uh, maybe it would be better to run at 4.5 uh, uh, volts. It uh, seems to to deliver the same. Now it's even go down to 137, so it's decreasing a lot the emission. Okay, so I will now test the uh, video quality and uh, with the same uh, camera. Okay, I prepare it. So this is this uh, bang, cheap bang good model, so we will see. So now I will make a quality video test. So I plug a smart camera. Uh, by default, uh, when you don't uh, install any uh, deep switch, the default frequency is uh, 5909, okay? And I also install um, our Y cable uh, because I want to uh, also power um, another uh, multi rotor. Okay, so, well, um, I will make a small test, so I will plug the batteries and use my uh, Google to, uh, to see the quality. Okay, so, uh, this one is the Boscam um, Jazz uh, 922. Uh, okay, and uh, it's working while I'm recording. Okay, I will move the camera. And uh, wow, well, this camera is okay. I don't see a lot of interferences, but uh, it's without any uh, motors. Okay, now I will test the um, FX uh, 7458. Okay, and then plug and turn off. So I will test now the, um, the other uh, transmitter. Okay. Okay. The antenna. So I would just swap the uh, transmitter. So now this is the FX uh, seven hundred fifty-eight. Okay. This is uh, yeah. this is a video signal. And this is a power signal. Tuck, 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 tuck. Seems to be okay. Now I will turn on the uh, Google. And okay, I'm tight. And like everything. So I will check which frequency he is. So it's not the same uh, frequency. Um, Okay, um, I will check, scan the um, my video Google. So I will scan. Oh, it's working. Oh, it used to work. Uh, I will scan the. Uh, okay, it's locked on which frequency? Oh, it seems to work in um, A band, so it's locked on. I will enter in the menu. So it seems to work in uh, 5865 uh, band. I would check that point. Yeah, it seems to. So I will record. Uh, the signal seems very clear. Well, even cleaner than the uh, bus cam, okay. So it's working well. Good. Okay, I will uh, test now with the uh, motors, a uh, source of interferences. interferences. Um, okay, we unplug everything. So this is the last okay, step. Yeah, we so make now a, a motor interference test. So I will uh, plug uh, the uh, System with uh, this quadcopter, so I will use this uh, unique 2S LiPo to power both the quadcopters. This is the uh, V2X62, sorry, V626. Um, well, so 
I will uh, plug everything. I will stop my uh, Google and record also uh, what I'm uh, currently uh, filming. So uh, actually, this is the um, um, actually I will plug the uh, the uh, bus cam. So I will first remove the uh, text. Okay. So the bus cam will be uh, working on the. Um, 5800 uh, something the last frequency of uh, the 8 okay so this is the uh, power yes and this is the, uh, um, the video okay so it should be okay everything and checking everything so I've got my Google horn I will plug the um, the lipo okay I see the image I can see interferences I will stop to record okay I will stop my uh, devo this is a v262 with a um, special firmware of Bradway so okay and I will record Oh uh, yes, as expected, I can see some interferences. So you will see. So yes, yeah, some white line. Okay, I will be done. Okay, so it was a test of with with the um. Uh, boss cam one. Now I will do the same with the um, uh, FX758. Okay, I will turn off everything. Okay, I will um, uh, install that. Disinstall that. Uh, remove the antenna. Okay, swap. Um, this is a X tie correctly and start the uh, video plug the power checking everything. I will set my Google on the oops, sorry, and turn off the Google. I will um, set my Google on A1. Okay. 5865 exactly okay and uh, I will turn non everything okay turn my radio yes the signal is much more cleaner on the I will record okay recording and I will harm the quadcopter and check yeah the signal is much much more cleaner yeah I don't see any interferences so it's pretty good very very good I disarm okay so uh, well I'll stop recording in the Google uh, I will turn off everything, so I will conclude this uh, series of tests. So, in terms of uh, power, emitted power, uh, the winner is the, uh, clearly the Boscam, okay? But in terms of quality, uh, I, the winner is the FX uh, uh, 758. Uh, so, well, I think uh, if you uh, maybe do a better soldering jobs, uh, than mine, uh, the difference of emitted power should be not so important. So um, I will choose the. Uh, um, I will advise more to take the FX758 uh, tune at 4 volt or 4.45 volt. Sorry. Okay. Uh, I hope the test was useful. If you like this video, please submit. Uh, if you like my channel in general, please subscribe. Bye bye.